It's time for Coffee with Corey, brewed in part by Kroger. Happy Monday. Welcome back. Hey, thank you. So Happy did you, Monday. Yeah, did you see the opening ceremony? I saw part of the opening okay, okay. ceremony. Some of it I saw live, some I saw tape. So we're going to get straight to it. So our first story of the morning. Lots of folks, of course, are still talking about the Olympics opening uh, ceremony on Friday. Many believe one scene in particular was taking aim at a painting by Leonardo da Vinci called The Last Supper. However, the director of the Paris Games opening ceremony says it was actually depicting another famous painting called The Feast of the Gods. That piece of art hangs in a French museum and features a group of Greek gods assembling for a celebration banquet. Well, the ceremony's director says that the Last Supper was not the inspiration for anything Friday night. Instead, they were paying tribute to the Olympic Games Greek origin. So what was the drama? So the drama, a lot of Christians were very upset. Okay. So everybody was online because oh, of the I Last see. Supper and they thought they were kind of like that was the whole issue. And so now they're saying that it had nothing to do with the Last Supper and that it was really paying tribute to the Greek origin of every of all oh, the Olympics. Okay. And so it was just a lot of folks online were just like, Yo, what? <laughs> what is happening? Here? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I mean, there just have been a lot of little controversies happening. Yes. They're all kind of like we. Mm, yeah. Yes. Let's just say that. <laughs> but we're going to um, keep following it on. Yeah, just just keep going along. Yeah, we're just, just keep, keep going, going along. <laughs> So our next story, <laughs> um, another court date has been set for Millington native Justin Timberlake, right? So his attorney appeared in Sag Harbor Village Justice Court last Friday in connection with Timberlake's DWI charge. Now the 43 year old performer is accused of driving through a stop sign and swerving into a lane of oncoming traffic last month. Now Timberlake was arrested, charged with driving while intoxicated and later released without bond. His attorney is now trying to get the charge against Timberlake dismissed, citing errors and documents submitted by the police. And he says the performer was not intoxicated at the time of his arrest. Instead, the judge in the case ordered Timberlake to be rearranged on August 2nd with the corrected paperwork. The pop singer, of course, is currently on tour in Europe, but could appear virtually for the proceeding. Now, Timberlake didn't attend Friday's hearing as his appearance was waived in advance. Yeah, so his attorney has been saying like uh, there's errors in the documents that were submitted completely not right. My client was not intoxicated at all whatsoever. Things need to be fixed. So we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness. And I mean, yeah, you just don't know. We're just, just right around the corner. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, we will see. We will see. And finally, uh, this morning we have a classic tale of summer lemonade stand drama. Okay, a group of kids in Summit County, Colorado, trying to make a few bucks selling lemonade were met with a full force of the law. Yes, you heard that right. Members of the Wilderness Home Owners Association called the Summit County Sheriff's Office to complain about the crime of an illegal lemonade stand. Well, because the kids were reportedly blocking the road. Well, when deputies arrived, they found the kids were not blocking the road, but they did ask them to move back a few feet for safety. Well, then the original complainers stormed out, claiming that the children were on private property, but the deputies determined that the property was actually shared homeowners association land. And since the kids' parents are part of the HOA, the kids had every right to be there. So in the end, the kids kept selling their lemonade and the grumpy neighbors retreated. <laughs> what, what do you think? It's like, get I don't know why lawn. I'm so tickled by this. <laughs> I know, like how, first of all, <laughs> who you are you spend people? Your time doing something else. These kids are just trying to have a lemonade stand. Let them be. They're gonna go back to school shortly in a little bit anyway. Like you got nothing else to do. I mean, seriously. Like, and then it's like they are serving a purpose because it's hot out, right? Yes. People need cool drinks. Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Like, let's be creative. Making like, money. Yes. They're, not... they're learning how to run a business. You're ruining it. Yeah, you're ruining it. I, don't, ruining I, just, it. I just don't understand uh, <laughs> people's intentions sometimes. Uh, right. You must have nothing else to yeah. do. You've got nothing. We've got to find you a hobby. Can't you imagine, <laughs> though, that angry person in the window, like, just... Rah. I think every neighborhood <laughs> has one or two of them. Like, it just happens. You know who you are. Yes, you do. <laughs> All right. Well, we are siding with the kids on this one. Of course we are. Okay. Lemonade stand for life. <laughs> Thank you, Corey.